are at the Warner Brothers Studio for the amazing Mandrakes and Magical Creatures event. As you can see, I'm all ready for Professor Sprout's classroom with the Ian Must Free for the Screaming Mandrakes. I wish I brought a Mandrake with me. I'm guessing I could have brought my noble collection one with me, but I didn't bring it. My eyes are streaming. Need to get inside, and I cannot wait to see what they've got behind those doors for this event. It is going to be remarkable. Monica is with me. She is my plus one and my cameraman. So thank you very much, Mon. Right, should we go and see what they've got in store for us? Okay. Thank you. Already being treated like VIPs. This is my second, second event here. No, third, fourth, fourth no. event. I've been to the Forbidden Forest. I've been to um, Gringotts. Me and Harry came for Gringotts. Came for the Wizarding World Gold Party. And now Monica Lover. Monica's come. Isn't she beautiful? Look at that face. Look at her. <laughs> Monica's come with me for this one. So I'm so excited. I can't wait. So we're here now until it's time for us to go. And then we... Uh, we get to see what they've got in store for us out the back. I'm so excited. I did watch the when Tom Felton did uh, the, the grand opening for it, or at least like the opening on camera for it. And uh, that was really exciting as, as well to watch that. So I kind of wish I hadn't watched it because I love having like the, um, the little sneak peeks. But yeah, it was perfect. It was absolutely amazing. And I feel perfectly dressed up for this event. It's just outstanding. So uh, one glass for me, I think, any more than this. Because all we've had is a subway. Have we? Yes. We've only had a subway. Um, one glass. The thing is, events like this, right, they just keep giving you wine. So, and wherever you go around the event, there's more wine. And there's other different, like, alcohol and different kind of cocktails you can have. And, yeah, it gets a bit dangerous. <laughs> but worth it. I saw somebody with a glass of coke. Do you think they've got coke? Yeah. It's so bad. I'm so excited to go into the shop. That is such a bad thing. Oh, I don't know about that. I think I just, I'm happy with coke. Eternia! Hey, baby! She's mortified that she put paint, paint. Thank you. She would put um, her makeup on my t-shirt, but I don't care. We're going in. I've had a couple of the little like entrees and stuff. Very delicious. What was that chicken and something we just had? Oh, I don't know why I asked you. You oh. had no idea. It's exciting. Well, it's so shiny. What you're shiny. <laughs> Oh wow, I've never noticed that before. Oh damn it, you missed it. Right, I missed it. Um, it's like um, a 3D picture of Voldemort holding the elder, or holding his wand. So maybe half of Prince ways, maybe? I don't know. But I used to find this room really claustrophobic because compared to the way it used to look, it's very different. Um, now, last time it was really claustrophobic. Last time. Before. Oh, what, when we came with the girls? Oh, no, remember, because the corridor was literally like this. See, now I... I don't know. I think it's because... I think maybe the ceiling was a bit lower. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. But I did find this a bit claustrophobic. I think it's because we'd gone from an open foyer to this. And I wasn't used to it. So I found it quite hard. That's a death eater for that event, so I never saw it. Now this might be a little bit of a silly question, considering where we are, but give me a nice loud cheer anyway when I ask, do we have any Harry Potter fans here today? <laughs> Now the lights are low, the tables are laid, and the fire is flickering. 
This is what we call in the industry a hot set. This is the same type of stone found in Carson's Uncle Dad country. They use this because they realised early on that Great Wall would have to withstand a lot of wear and tear. And this type of horror is made to last a lifetime. Now we can't mention how the Great Wall without mentioning how the wall was houses. <laughs> Just to my left, we have our Hufflepuff with Cedric Diggory's outfit from the Tribes of Women taking centre stage. Just opposite our Hufflepuff, we have our Slivering's with Draco Murphy's robes. I think it's safe to say I never get tired of this. Ever. Monica Bless is getting me a drink. See what I mean? It's like you come here and there's just a bar everywhere. There's another bar here by the potions classroom. Uh, wine, please. Oh, this glass is there, yeah. <laughs> Could I, is it possible I give a bit of lemonade in a glass? Is that okay? Thank you. That's perfect. Thank you so much. So this is a lovely event at Warner Brothers. It's always a pleasure coming here for an event. And it's always so remarkable and beautiful. And they always make such a fuss of everybody who comes. I will try, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we have vegan, vegan feta cheese and salad. Last time we came here, it was like proper kind. I'm not used to this posh five-star food. I'm really not. And yet, this is what it's like when you come to these events. It's five-star food. And I can't get this fruit off my fork. Right, there we are. Okay, it's true. I think Professor Sprout's playing a joke here. Yes. Yes, <laughs> that is actually very nice. Water, watermelon, feta cheese. I think that's pomegranate seeds. I'm not sure what this. This looks like something from a mandrake. Maybe this is mandrake stuff. That is actually really nice. Last time we came, they had on the platform like three quarters. They'll probably do the same thing today. They have a they have a, a, a row of people of, of, of obviously staff, and they've got all different puddings. And I had to try all of them. So see, see, slim and world worthy, right? This is healthy, yeah. So Monica, ex interactor, would you like to tell us what this is? Uh, eagle eye views may have spotted this creature reading residing it's in chamber of secrets isn't it where they yeah, toss him Hagrid, some food i do miss it you can't do that job oh, you yeah. loved oh, it my God, are you ready yeah. <laughs> I'm not I bet it can. <laughs> cleaned. See that trap door down there? That is actually Fluffy's trap door. That's the trap door they go through in Philosopher's Stone on the third floor corridor and they fall onto the devil's snare plant. That's the actual trap door from Philosopher's Stone. Kim, you could have told me this whilst, you know, while I was working in. I'm sure it was Kim. It's definitely a current interactor. But how cool is that? This is Hagrid's hut, the normal size one that makes Hagrid look like a giant. Um, compared to Hermione and uh, Ron and Harry. <laughs> so scary! That is so cool! He's back again. He's watching us, I swear to God. He's really scary. Got someone behind you. <laughs> I love this. They've actually got Umbridge at her desk. 
This is brilliant. This I've never seen this before where she's actually at her desk. I love this so much. She is just, I know that she's, she, it's awful to talk to children, it's awful, but I think Imelda Staunton just did the most incredible job of Umbridge. She is one of my favourite villains. She's just incredible. The fact that she's so pink and fluffy and yet she's evil. She's like a nasty cat with claws. I thought you said nasty cow. <laughs> she's a nasty cow, yeah, that's what it is. She's a cow. This is how it works. They had an actual person inside. Look at that. That is amazing. I love this so much. Quiet. Just between you and me. <laughs> Did you just try to strangle her? Why didn't you do a good job? Don't forget, right, that the Hagrid's Lantern by Noble Collection is now discontinued. So if you see it anywhere for its normal price of, I think it's £55, get it. Look at it curls, look at it curls, it's so pretty. Your hair looks so red on camera. <laughs> Excuse me, I was red before. No, you were red. Oh, I this know. But what I loved about the red is that it was really red. Now, the first time I came in here, I absolutely pooped my pants because you know I'm a huge arachnophobic, right? I, I, any spiders, I'm like, no, forgetting it, not happening. So, I've been through here so many times now, I'm actually okay, kind of. Okay, the shadows look so horrible. Look at the size of these things. <laughs> okay, we can leave now. Oh, that looks so cool. Can I just have one of everything? A feta cheese, vegan roast of summer, yummy. Slightly scrumptious, thank you very much. Today. Nineteen years later, you've got Ginny and Harry married with three children and Rupert at Rupert and Ron and Hermione with two. And it's just it's quite sad really because you know it's like even though it's the it's like them and we know that they're happy and they're settled and they're married and they've got children, it's an end to the wizarding world for those films and it's always a sad scene. We have dry ice drinks, okay? Should I put my camera down for this? Sorry. Oh my god! <laughs> is that mine, is it? <laughs> it's like a freaking dragon! This is so cool!
Oh, that is delish. <laughs> I worked with dry ice before for a Yule Ball event and it was so much fun. It's incredibly dangerous stuff, so you have to have a license to use it. But uh, that is wicked. <sighs> Cheers. Oh my god, this is wicked, Mon. We have the burrow. Do you think Mrs. Weasley will mind if we go in for a cup of tea? Maybe for um, some food. Well, she's always feeding people, isn't she? She seems to think that everyone's too skinny, lover. I'm certainly too skinny for Mrs. Weasley. I need fattening up. Just don't tell Slimming World that. Look at that. This is amazing. I'm really hoping that we can be here for when it gets dark. So we have the burrow, Mrs. Weasley's burrow. Look at that. Apparently, the story goes that um, if they used this size burrow when they did the big explosion in Half Blood Prince, where Bellatrix and Greyback, Fenrir Greyback, actually blow up the burrow. This was apparently the size they used. So it is fascinating. And you've got like a mini Hogwarts lamp, a, Hog a Hagrid's lamp on the inside. Should be great if they sold that size one. That's brilliant. <sighs> Look how beautiful that is. Look at it. That is sensational. I love this. It's just stunning. Oh, look at that. You can see that in Half-Blood Prince when Harry, Ron and Hermione are sat in Ron's room and they've got that little flame inside. Uh, they've got the, the um, newspaper that they set alight over a, tr a tray. You can see that balcony outside Ron's bedroom. So that must be Ron's bedroom just there. I love it. I love it. This is so beautiful how they've done all this detail. It'd be great if they had the lights on inside so you can see the detail of the windows. Because um, a lot of them are stained glass. That is obviously Ron's room. Yeah, there. that's it. Ron's room all the way up there. Anna, you should be proud of me for knowing that. I am very proud of you actually for knowing that. <laughs> <sighs> Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I feel sorry for Ron having his room there, right, with the weather. The weather was bad. Oh my god, the gargoyle, yeah. But yeah, I was saying in the um, in the video that when they blew up, when they blew it up, it was this size they blew up. Number four, the same as my house. That is the same as my house. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my God. That is so amazing. Honestly, Mina Lima, or should I say Mira Fora Mina, did an amazing job of acceptance letters. And she has now copyrighted her handwriting, which I think is rightly so. <sighs> Look at that. That garden. Yeah, you can go out there and look through the window. So incredible. No such thing as magic. Oh, the cupboard under the stairs. <sighs> Sorry, Harry. <laughs> wow. The smell, the smell is so bizarre. It is, it's, it is like this is like the house. It just smells like an old sofa. It's so bizarre. It's what to do with the mother. You see it all the time with dogs. There's, There's something, something wrong with the bitch. There's something wrong with the pup. Shut up! Shut up! I like a little baby photo. <laughs> I wonder whose child that is.
Now, apparently, the lady who played Aunt Marge, I can never remember her name, I really apologise, she actually dehydrated herself um, to the point where she had to, because she had to give them 20 minutes notice when she needed the toilet. I don't actually know if that's possible, um, but it took her 20 minutes to be de-rigged, but she had to literally have a little sip of water, and then that was it. She had to literally dehydrate, or put to the point of dehydration, and then she obviously, they did the stunt. But it's actually a stunt, it wasn't special effects, it was an actual stunt with the lady who played Aunt Marge. Look at the size of Petunia compared to Aunt Marge. So crazy. No way. And obviously Dudley as well. No, look at that. I'm sure I had a table like that. That's crazy. And then the kitchen. Look at all the food. It looks like a, a typical Sunday dinner at our house for all the actual food that's here. Um, because this is obviously not maybe not the ribs because we're not that we don't have ribs but the amount of gravy and and meat and so on yorkshire puddings our kitchen because our kitchen's quite big and it is absolutely rammed with food when my boys eat so much now oh my god that looks so creepy because we used to have one of those microwaves mad absolutely crazy oh you're still here are you yes so, yes in that ungrateful I'm voice that was good of my brother to keep you the garden the garden is just so wicked my garden doesn't look this clean can these people come and do my garden do you think they would yeah i'm not asking much i think i'd be allowed Hang on, have a look. And then you have Aunt Marge <laughs> popping into the conservatory, literally. Oh my God, this is so cool. I love how they've expanded this. They've really kind of shown the muggle side of the wizarding world. And I love that a barbecue like the muggles would have, obviously. <laughs> Honestly, I need this garden. Come and do my gardening, please. I want their gardeners to come and do my garden because it's an absolute jungle in my house. This is just so wonderful. Obviously, I've been to the real Privet Drive where they filmed the first one, and it was just remarkable being invited there by the owners. Obviously, I didn't film inside because of privacy. I did film partly inside because at the end of the day, they were very kind, but they never actually filmed inside the real Privet Drive. It was always on the outside. But if you want to check out that video, then check out the link above. Okay, here we go. We're going into the greenhouse. This is so incredible. Which is why I have it. 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 Which is why this is beautiful. The work that they have gone through, gone to, to do this greenhouse is just outstanding. Maybe I'll leave that one, yeah? <laughs> what, how strong are these, mine? Because, like, with Monica, she, you know, you've got somebody who's like... Oh, really strong, and it's just, we're just testing the sound on that one, which is quite jolly. She broke it. Don't do that one, basically. Just say she broke it. She broke it. This is it. I like it. You want me to do it? Okay, let's do it. It's ready? I'm the test. I'm the, I'm the monkey now, right? Yeah. Ready? Uh, we got scream. Okay, I'll let you back down, yeah? Let you back down, yeah? Yeah. 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 He's, he's quiet now. Can you do this one? Yeah. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Apparently you've got to pat them in well, otherwise they keep screaming. 
There we are, it's happy now, it stops screaming. It's again, because again. <laughs> this is so much fun. Ready? You ready? Hang on, hang on. Still crying, still crying, still crying. Right, ready? You ready? Like it's um, it's almost like styrofoam, but they've painted it to look like earth. This is so cool. Hey, look at the ones that are moving. La, 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 la. That's so They keep screaming, so you gotta cover them up. <laughs> My one's not going mental. Though. as well in the background so you can see them there and then obviously you've got the costumes of what they wore <laughs> My friend Maria and Carol are coming here Friday. They are going to have the best time ever. It's such a fantastic new theatre. And it's so fantastic and fun. I love it so much. Look at this fountain. Oh my God. I so wanted to build this. I did actually start building it for a mini Hogwarts. I was going to build the entire thing. And it was just absolutely incredible. Look at it. It's so beautiful. It's huge as well. That's the thing. It's absolutely ginormous. It's full size Hogwarts castle. It is just incredible. Look at it. So beautiful. The detail that they've gone into to build this. And obviously the greenhouse is just there as well. It's just incredible. Let me go near the water. Hiya! Monica over there, lover. Chatting to all her friends because she used to work here. Look at it. Isn't it? This is like a spoiler for October, Jordan. It so is. You're gonna love it, honey. Look at how tall this is. 
it's massive you can imagine right if this is the size of this fountain how big was hogwarts to be actually in hogwarts and walk around hogwarts how crazy is that and i love how you've got the greenhouse just there isn't it beautiful <laughs> this is one of my favorite sets. Good God. When we came here for the event uh, a couple of years ago, it was just it was incredible. The, the work that's gone into this is just mental. I know we're not here for this, but it is just outstanding. And can you believe that those crystals are plastic? They're not actually crystal, they're not glass, they're plastic. It must make them a lot lighter. them occasionally can you imagine having to put those 22 mil contact lenses in that's mental i remember hearing about warwick davis trying them to put them in his eyes and it must have been so uncomfortable but we've got something here what's this gold <sighs> is it real don't gold? run off with it i've got longer legs than you <laughs> um it's not real would you make touch, can I touch it? it absolutely oh my god wow this is an example of the gold bars that they would use uh, for filming they rubberized them all health and safety purposes. So when the, the treasure all falls on them, it's not actually metal hitting everyone, it's a rubber. That is outstanding. It looks so real, but it's, it's not. It's so light. You can imagine it'd be like this if you were holding a real gold bar. Find a little joke on there at the bottom, all the serial numbers, 999 and three quarters <laughs> on uh, each bar of gold that they've ever made. That's so brilliant. 999 and three quarters. So if you wanted to make an actual deposit, that's what you'd need. <laughs> you'd, yeah. Well, I did say I needed to make a deposit. You know, do you think you'd accept that? That is amazing. I'm going to hand it back because I'm still so worried about touching one of these. That's all right. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Enjoy. That was so cool. I've never held one of them before. I feel so special. <laughs> yeah. Never forget Harry. So I'm standing here and Harry is legging it up there because he was the first member of the public to see the vault. I don't know if you can hear it, you can't, oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> that feels that sounds so proper echo in here. That is so bizarre, so bizarre. One of my favorite parts of the tour is, as you know, last time we did a video here a couple of weeks ago, I stood here for so long filming uh, this part. Cause it's so amazing. <sighs> What's your favorite part, Mon? Favorite part of the Lestrange Vault. Oh, I don't have a favourite. Did you ever actually come in this part to do a, to, to cover it? What do you mean? When you were an interactor. Well, yeah, you were in there. So you were in here. Could yeah, you, so you, so you could you go in here? here? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, the gates over there. That's so cool. So Monica's actually been the other side of the barriers here because obviously she worked here for a few months. Well, no, it was about eight, nine, nine months. Nine, nine, nine months of sheer bliss. Not for her though because Monica's more of a Marvel person than a Harry person, so that's absolutely Harry. fine. I would have had nine months of complete bliss. Yep. Got the wands lit up, look. You see that? I didn't realise, I've never seen them. It used to be music, but the music got so loud that you, can never, you couldn't hear the video, so they took the music away. 
So every time the lights would go out, the music would build. Oh well, the lights have gone off now. Yeah. How often do they come on? Magic. Love it. <laughs> this took four, is it four days to render when they did it. Uh, when they did obviously these programs, because it's four programs in total, and it took four days for the, the programs to render so they could use them. No, because your mother's your mother and she won't let you. No, it's because when people find out you work, they have to ask questions. Hey, remember you bought the film to um, film to screen or book to screen, whatever it's called, that book, the big one. So for all your knowledge. There she is. Is it Doris? Yeah. Doris. There's Doris. Unofficial name. That the Doris. Name. What's the other one called? Doris and... Oh, I can't remember. Gl 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 no? No. <laughs> yeah, it's the unofficial name that... Uh, that's the scariest one, that one. But as I was saying, <laughs> it was the and um, Doris is the unofficial name that the staff here gave the dragon. Mm -hmm. And there's also a name for the one in the lobby, but I can't bloody I'm remember. I never Doris remembered. and Gla no, Gladys? Is no, it so Agnes or something. It's yeah, it's, some, it's a very old fashioned name. I remember but that. It was the one I could never remember. You were supposed to be there then. So that is it. Our time at the studio has come to an end. This event has been incredible. Thank you so much Warner Brothers for inviting me today and with Monica as well, bless her. This has been the most amazing day ever. We've been utterly spoiled and this greenhouse is a permanent feature. So don't worry, you will not miss out. And also the beautiful Hogwarts fountain as well behind me. Um, the you can't see it, but just there is um, the Four Privet Drive that is now open to the public. And also, can you see it from here? You've got the burrow. You can't quite see it, but you just see it. It's just there. The burrow is also a permanent feature. So make sure you come down to the Water of the Studio Tour and uh, try your hand at some mandrake pulling from the dirt. Trust me, you're going to need your earmuffs though, because they seriously scream. Take care, guys. I love you so much. Always love you. I just hit myself in the nose. <laughs>
check out more of my content, take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.